Hello my friends and followers and welcome to the review on Canon's new EOS M100, a small compact light mirrorless digital camera. And let's talk about the question first, for what kind of people is this camera made? I would say it's made for people starting with photography or people who have already a Canon camera with maybe some lenses because if you get the Canon EFM adapter, you might use all Canon lenses that you got already. It's a lightweight and compact camera, which makes it ideal for traveling. And of course, through the tilt type display, it's ideal for people who like to take a lot of selfies or starting a video blog on YouTube. And last but not least, this camera offers a full manual mode for photo and video, which makes it ideal if you want to expand your knowledge. Let's talk about the design of the Canon EOS M100 first. It has been the same design now for ages. I would have preferred a more angular shape to make this camera outstanding compared to other cameras. By extending a flash, it seems to be that the flash wants to elude from the camera housing. So don't be scared when extending the flash. That's the normal sound it does when you try to extend it. Ouch. The photos taken with the flash look a bit contrasty and of course a bit bleached out, but anyways, it fulfills its purpose. Let's talk about all the buttons and switches around the camera. On top there's the on and off button. Next to it is the shutter release button. A small button for starting and stopping a video sequence. On the lower side, the battery compartment with the LPE12 battery with 875 milliamperes that allows you to take 400 photos or one hour of video recording. Next to it is the tripod mount that allows you to mount this camera on top of every tripod. On this side is nothing. On the other side is a mini HDMI and a mini USB port. Who in the world is using a mini USB port nowadays? I have no clue about it because that's a really old fashioned USB port. And the only point I found really disappointing is that you can't charge your camera with a power bank or any other USB port over the mini USB port. Next to this is the mini HDMI port that allows you to watch all photos and videos on grandma's TV. And below that is the slot for the SD card. By the way, the camera measures 110 millimeters in length, about 67 millimeters in height and about 35 millimeter in length without the lens. With that lens, the 15 to 45 millimeter, including the body, the battery and the SD card, you come to weight of about 430 grams. And of course the camera feels a bit plasticky, but for the price of about 500 euro, including the lens, there is no space for any argue. The only disappointing thing about this camera is you don't have any hot shoe to attach an external microphone or a video light. And there is no port on either side to attach actually an external microphone. Hmm. This camera, the Canon EOS M100, is equipped with Wi-Fi, NFC and Bluetooth as well. So if you consider getting all images out of the camera straight onto your phone, it has become super easy. Just download the free Canon Camera Connect app for all Android and iOS devices. Um, that means a smartphone or tablet. There is an extra video guide on my channel where I can show you how to actually establish a connection between your smart device and your camera. After you have successfully established a connection between those two devices, you will be able to transfer all photos and videos straight from the camera onto your phone and share them via 4G or the local Wi-Fi network at home or in the hotel with all your friends and customers. There are no extra costs involved and I really have to mention that many times the camera 
produces a Wi-Fi network, so no extra costs. The menu of the Canon EOS M100 is easy and intuitive to use. It doesn't really matter if you're new with Canon cameras or if you're already an existing Canon user, you will feel quite comfortable within a few moments. Let's talk about the kit lens, the 15 to 45 millimeter, which is included in that package I got here for about 500 euros. Of course, it's a plastic lens and it does not necessarily feel plasticky at all. It does not have a metal bayonet, but in this case, it doesn't really matter because of its light weight of only 130 grams. The maximum aperture on this lens you get is a 3.5 at 15 millimeter. And because it's a variable aperture, the maximum aperture you get at 45 millimeter is just an aperture of 6.3. It has an inbuilt image stabilizer and an STM motor for silent focusing. On a full frame camera, it's an equivalent focal length of 24 to 72 millimeters, which is ideal for vlogging, taking a lot of selfies, the best option for your next holiday or a city trip, taking photos of your kids at home, or maybe food or Instagram and Facebook photos. Let's see how this lens performs against bright light. As you can see, there is a bit of lens flare that points straight into the lens, which can be quite nice while you take a portrait of your girlfriend during the sunset. And because I wanted to give you the best examples with that lens, we went to the central station and Frankfurt to get some nice flower shots during the winter time, of course. In the center, as you can see, the photos look quite nice and crisp and around the edges, the build quality decreases significantly. But to get the best bokeh out of this lens, you have to stick to 45 millimeter with an aperture of 3.5. Since it's a variable aperture, once you zoom in at 45 millimeter, the bokeh will decrease since you have only an aperture left of 6.3. And since we're talking about flower photography, the minimum focus distance with this lens is only at 250 millimeters, so that's 25 centimeters. So it's ideal for taking photos of flowers, food, or any other details, maybe some products for your Instagram account or for Facebook. And considering getting the adapter for about 120 euro, you can basically mount any lens on top of this body, for instance, the 35 millimeter by Canon macro lens for even better, great photos of your flowers at home maybe. And as I told you before, these photos are available for download. The link is in the video description below. Let's talk about one of the best features of the Canon EOS M100 is the tilt type display with a resolution of almost 1 million dots and it's a three inch touch display. It's ideal for taking selfies and maybe your new video blog on YouTube. And of course, as you can see, it's also perfect if you want to take some photos or videos close to the ground without throwing yourself into the dirt. And with that big screen, you'll be able to change all settings like the ISO, the aperture and the shutter speed with just a fingertip on the touch display. The filters on the Canon EOS M100 are better compared to any other filters on any Canon camera because you'll be able to adjust the brightness, the contrast, or you can choose between a black and white photo. And that works also in video mode. Therefore, you have to stay in the photo mode on top of the camera. And from there on, you can push the start and the stop button. And you have all these filters on top of your video to get a nice flat profile or maybe a really contrasty video. One of the best features of this camera is that it offers a full automatic mode. So for people just starting with photography and it offers a full manual mode that allows you to change the aperture, the ISO and the shutter speed by yourself to get the best results. And I'm pretty sure you get great results using a cheap camera with the appropriate lens. By the way, you can take full HD video with the Canon EOS M100, so no 4K video recording with this camera. 
and you can record your full HD videos a maximum of 60 frames per second. If you only see 50 frames, you need to step into the yellow menu of the Canon EOS M100 and switch between PAL to NTSC to get 60 frames per second for stunning fluent video. This camera offers a time-lapse movie mode as well. You need to go on the upper left side of the screen while being in the video mode. And from there on, you need to select a time-lapse movie. There you can set the exposure, the interval, and of course, at the end, the camera provides a full time-lapse video and there is no need for post-processing, which can be quite nice and time-saving. Still in the video mode, the camera offers an integrated um, image stabilizer that allows you to take more fluent video without too many shakes in between. Be aware that using the image stabilizer, the video got cropped by about 10% at all sites. Let's listen to the integrated microphone of the Canon EOS M100 in three different scenarios. That's the internal microphone of your new Canon EOS M100 without any disturbing background noises. For instance, I don't have any wind in here, the window is closed and there shouldn't be any background noises at all. Let's continue. That's the internal microphone of your brand new Canon EOS M100 at a busy road in Frankfurt. That's the microphone of the M100 while you're outside with your bicycle. Almost last but not least, we're talking about the autofocus system of the Canon EOS M100. It offers a great autofocus speed either by tap focusing or normal focusing. And while being in continuous shooting, it allows you to take up to 6.1 photos per second. And if you take your photos only in JPEG, you can take basically unlimited amount of photos using the appropriate SD card. There's a link in the video description below with the SD card I was using during that day. I figured out that taking photos in RAW plus JPEG, the amount of photos you can take is about 15 to 20 photos and then the buffer is already beat up. So make sure to get a fast writing SD card that allows you to take basically unlimited amount of photos while shooting in JPEG only. Still talking about the autofocus, it's much quicker during photo recording, also using the tap focus or the normal focus with the shutter release button. And once you're in video mode and you go from far, to narrow, you can see it takes about one to two seconds until the camera focus correctly. Last but not least, we are talking about the low light performance on this APS-C sensor camera. You can extend the ISO up to 25,600. And I would recommend, please make yourself aware for what you are using these photos. If they are for grandma's photo album, she doesn't care if you were using ISO 6400 or ISO 25600. Anyways, I guess she loves you with ISO 1 million as well, which the camera does not even offer. But anyways, so if you're shooting your photos or videos with a higher ISO setting than normal, and these photos may be just for Instagram or for Facebook, or they belong to grandma's photo album, you can basically go to 6400 or ISO 12800 with a rapid loss of image quality. But once you want to take these photos for a large printout, I would recommend not going beyond ISO 3200. After ISO 3200 or even 6400, the photos look quite grainy. And if you want to convince yourself about the low light performance of the Canon EOS M100, there is a link with some examples in the video description below for private use only and for Lightroom home analyzing. And as I told you already many times in this video, if you get the Canon EFM adapter, there's a link in the video description below for the Canon EOS M100, you'll be able to use basically all lenses that Canon provides even for full frame or all APC sensor cameras. Let's make a conclusion of this small, compact, lightweight camera. I guess it's a bit too small, to be honest with you, with my hands, because these two fingers are just here in the air and doing nothing. So I guess this camera is better if you use it as a backup body or if you have smaller hands. 
The tilt type display is ideal for selfies and videos. And of course, it offers a full manual mode for photos and videos, which is a great value for money because if you are bored using the automatic mode, just go into the manual mode and expand your knowledge in terms of photography using ISO and aperture and of course the shutter speed as appropriate to the situation. I guess it's the ideal compact camera while you travel a lot and you're a bit fed up with the results of your smartphone. It offers NFC, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, which is great because you can use the free Canon Camera Connect app to control the camera or transfer all the photos from the camera straight onto your phone and share them with friends via Instagram, Facebook, WhatsApp, mail and so on. The only thing here, I am hoping for an update soon to get a different shape of the housing that's been out in the market for a quite long time already. And of course, we are missing a hot shoe to attach an external microphone or video light. And there's no port actually to attach an external microphone. So it's a great camera for people who want to start with photography or for people who need a backup body for video blogs, food blogs, and all these kind of scenarios for about 500 euros, including the lens. I hope this video was useful for you and see you soon. Thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Bye bye.